Good news everyone, Dark Souls 2 DLCs have been announced. It's called the Lost Crowns Trilogy. Yes, there will be three of them. We'll apparently be going after King Vendrick's crowns that were lost. The first one is called the Crown of the Sunken King. The second one is called Crown of the Old Iron King. And the third one is called Crown of the Ivory King. The first episode is going to be released on July 22nd. You may remember about six months ago the producer was telling us that there were not going to be any more expansions and what you get on day one is the complete experience. But since the DLC is coming so soon it's obvious that they've been working on it for so long. But if you ask me it's a good thing. I have about 600 hours played across all three souls game and you can never have enough dark souls. However some fans don't like this announcement and if you read the comments on Namco Bandai's YouTube channel on this trailer video you will see everyone raging about it, saying they got greedy. Of course, this is silly, it's not like they're selling another spell or a sword that's way too powerful for 99 cents. Season Pass is available on Steam for $25, and probably each episode is going to cost around $10. Let's watch the trailer together and see what they have in store for us. So the first episode is going to be underground, looks like, second high in the air somewhere, and third is going to be in a snowy area. Okay, not too much information to work on, but this zone looks pretty cool if you ask me. Some underground temple, the tree roots breaking in. Oh god, it's uh... That's like, you're a dog, we heard you like poison statues, so we put a poison statue on your poison statue and then put them on top of a turtle, so they can catch you better. That was one of the enemies I hated in Dark Souls 2, and now we are getting them on top of turtles. And some new enemies. And some dragons, probably. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I think that's pretty cool and I personally cannot wait to play it. But what do you think? Is it a welcome addition to Dark Souls 2? Or is it a money grabbing scheme by Namco Bandai? Are you planning to buy the season pass, or are you going to wait until the expansion is released and you can read the reviews for yourself? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel and check our other videos as well.